Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. I'm doing a really quick unedited video. My room is complete. I have different colored walls now. My room is still empty because all my stuff still needs to be moved in, um, hence the echo. But I thought I would do a really quick video because I wasn't going to have a video for this week because I didn't have like the time or space to be able to record a video because of all the construction happening in my house. Um, so I thought I would do like a really quick Friday Reads life update mini book haul. I went to New York City as I'm sure everyone is aware of by now for Book Riot Live which was fantastic. Um, I'm going to link to David from The Poptimist. He made a quick little video because he was there and so I will link to that so you guys can kind of get a quick glimpse of what Book Riot Live is like. Um, but yeah, I was in New York City for about a week, which was fantastic. I went to so many shows. I saw Hamilton, which was life-changing. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have known all of this already, but yeah, New York City was great, as it usually is, but I'm definitely happy to be home because I love Chicago as well. Um, I did a little bit of shopping while I was there. I didn't do like a whole bookstore tour type of thing this time around, partially because I decided to use my money for experiences over stuff this time around and then also I just have a whole bunch of unread books and I know I'm going to be sent more books by publishers and such so I don't want to go to too many bookstores but my friend lives right next to the Strand and Forbidden Planet so I always go there um, when I'm in New York City and visiting her because it's literally just like three blocks away from her apartment and then I decided to also go to Three Lives and Company, which is a tiny little bookstore in Greenwich Village. It, or is it the West Village? I don't know. All these like neighborhoods in New York City always the lines blur. Um, but yeah, it's a tiny little store that I had heard about a while ago, but I had never been to before. And then this year it was announced that the building that they are currently leasing out of got sold and so they were on like a month by month lease and they didn't know how much longer they were going to be in that space um, or exist at all. And so I made it a priority to visit it when I was there and then like right after I visited it, it was announced that they had gotten new terms for their lease with the new building owner so they are going to be there at least for a little bit longer so that's fantastic so if you live in the downtown area or you're ever in Manhattan and you're near like the West Village side then I highly recommend it it's super tiny it's literally just like one small room that you walk into but they have really great curation and the day that I was there I believe it was the Friday after the election, it was a couple of days after the election and there were a couple of young ladies who came in asking for recommendations when you feel like the world sucks and the bookseller was so kind to them and had so much heart and empathy for them and it just made me so happy. So anyways, the books that I bought. Um, the first book that I bought was Juan Pablo Villalobos Quesadillas. Um, I read Down the Rabbit Hole a couple of years ago now and this is one that I've had on my radar to pick up and so I saw it at the Strand and it was like six dollars seven dollars something like that pro tip if you go to the basement in the Strand they have a lot of like slightly more discounted paperbacks which is just really fantastic um next I have Man Tiger by Eka Kurinawan um I read this book earlier this year and really loved it so I saw a copy of this at Three Lives and Company and I picked it up and I, if I have reviews for Down the Rabbit Hole or Man Tiger, I believe I have one for Man Tiger, I'm going to link that because they are both fantastic books and you should definitely pick them up. Um, the other two books I picked up are comic books from Forbidden Planet. The first one is Ms. Marvel Volume 4, which I have read this one. This was the last like Ms. Marvel single issues that I had ever picked up. I stopped picking up single issues just because they were getting too expensive for me. Um, so that's the last of the Ms. Marvel storyline that I know. So now I have Ms. Marvel Volume 5 and so I'm really excited to see where this all goes. I keep seeing like cap pictures of individual like frames and stuff like that from the Ms. Marvel series and it always makes me like miss it. So I'm excited that I have new Ms. Marvel that I can read. Um, and then one more thing. I'm going to move now because I forgot to bring this thing over to my desk. I got a tote bag from the Strand. Um, I always love their tote bags and their like 
pencil bags and they have a whole bunch of different sized bags there and so the one I got was again like the day after the election so I was feeling quite snarky and I got their Make America Read Again bag. Um, they made this into a hat that looked like Donald Trump's hat and then I guess they just made it into more products because I didn't realize they had it as a tote bag. So when I saw it as a tote bag I was like I'm gonna get that too because I feel like it. Um, so yeah that is everything I got while I was in New York City. Like I said, not too much stuff because I didn't want too much stuff. Um, but yeah, this weekend I am planning on reading The Fireman by Joe Hill just because I got that as an ebook from the library. I've been on that whole list forever and it's finally my turn and I'm about four or five chapters into it. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't really been reading much of my nonfiction books that I talked about in my nonfiction November TBR video, um, mostly because of the construction and traveling and everything like that. I haven't been reading physical books, and I believe all those books are physical books that I put on my TBR. Um, so yeah, I plan on getting to those now that construction is over. I'm so glad construction is over. Um, but yeah, I only read Blood at the Root, um, and so I'm hoping to pick up some of the others, like this weekend maybe, depending on how putting all my stuff back goes, how long that takes, stuff like that. Um, but if you follow me on Goodreads, you'll see what I'm currently reading, as usual. Um, so yeah, that's everything I'm going to do for this video. Thank you for indulging me in this not great quality, not great sound quality <laughs> video. Um, it was either this or no video, so I decided I would just try to do something. So yeah, that's all I have for now, and thanks for watching.